What is going on, people? I am here for, if you couldn't tell by the title, a review. But this is a Christmas review, so it's extra special. Uh, this is a Christmas horror comedy. And I haven't been doing, well, I haven't done anything festive or anything. So this one breaks the mold. And if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm reviewing the movie called Sleigh Bells. Before I get into the review, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you did like the review, and of course, hit that little bell button so you know when I upload more stuff, whether it be reviews, unboxings, or anything. So, of course, hit that subscribe button, like I said. Anyway, movie Sleigh Bells. It was written and directed by Dan Walker, a.k.a. Spooky Dan Walker. It was also written by Jessica uh, Lurson. Uh, it stars... Barry Bostwick, uh, Christina Klebe, I'm horrible with last names if you couldn't tell by now, so hopefully I said that right, uh, Susan Slaughter, among many others. So pretty much what this revolves around, you get these three girls who have their own vlogging series, I guess you want to call it, you know how YouTubers do the abandoned places, whether where they go and they check these places out and, you know, it's all spooky and stuff, where these three girls, they do it a little bit different, they have their own style of doing it, and they do it in cosplay. Um, so, it is around Christmas time, so they end up running into this place called Santa Land that has been uh, abandoned for many, many, many years. So pretty much what they do is they go and they check this place out. And let's just say they run into something they, you know, didn't expect whatsoever. Uh, by the end of the movie, it's them trying to save the world. So anyway, um, they end up going to this place. They're checking it out. All of a sudden, they run into Krampus. Now, like I said, it is a horror comedy, so it's a little bit different than all these other Krampus movies that have been coming out, but it's all around the same premise. You know, Krampus is the exact opposite of Santa Claus. You know, Santa Claus is there to help and, you know, bring joy to the children. Well, Krampus is the exact opposite. He goes, finds the nasty children, and pretty much, you know, eats them. So, these three girls, they end up running into Krampus, uh, and then running into Santa Claus. So now it's three girls and Santa Claus versus Krampus, but Krampus has someone under his sleeve. Or, or something up his sleeve, I guess you want to call it. But it's not really Krampus who's doing it. I'm not going to mention anything. Uh, I'll let you watch a movie and figure it out. You get these other characters that are in the movie. You get, you know, a boyfriend. You get a cop. You get um, a ex for ex miss Claus, I guess you want to call it. Uh, but you get a whole bunch of other people throughout the movie. But th the main, you know, whole plot line is it's now these three girls and Santa Claus versus Krampus. And by the end of the movie, you realize that there is a plan at hand to kind of pretty much take over the world and kind of blame Santa Claus for it. So, I'll leave it at that. I don't want to get way too deep into it because it's one of the movies where you have to watch it to understand it. You know, there's, you know, very cheesy parts, but fun cheesy. Um, it's just an all-over-the-place, you know, thrill ride. So, I'll leave it at that, but I must say I enjoy everything that uh, this Blu-ray has. So, you have to pick it up, like I said, from Epic... Pa well, I'm guessing you could probably pick it up on Amazon where if you've seen my reviews, I'll leave everything that I'm talking about in uh, this, this, eh, the description. So, if you're a collector and you like, you know, special features on your Blu-ray disc, well, this one is packed full of it. Uh, you get a director and writer audio commentary. There's uh, the making of sleigh bells. You get cookies and conversation featurette. You get uh, Hannah Minx tours the set and Hannah Minx makeup tutorial. So I'm guessing she's having to do with the makeup. Uh, you get Spooky Dan's short film Badass Russian in Istanbul, which that one sounds interesting. And Sleigh Bells trailer. Uh, so like I said, this one is just all over the place. You, It pretty much Santa Claus with help versus Krampus with help by the end of the movie. And it's just all over the place. You get a lot of gore to tell you the truth. Um, I wasn't expecting that much. There's, there's like um, 
scenes where Krampus has to go. I'm guessing he has to, you know, feed for uh, for power and stuff. So you see him attacking uh, children and stuff. You get him attacking some guys with, you know, the use of his horns and 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 goring and all the. It's it's just all over the top, all over the place, and it's a fun watch. So what I'll do is I'll leave the trailer for the movie, like I always do. I'll also leave the link to where you can purchase the movie because this one is definitely one that is now in my Christmas collection, I guess you want to call it, where uh, it is more around, centered around Christmas, so unless you want to watch Krampus in the middle of July, which, you know, at that point in time, it doesn't matter, but me, myself, I have certain movies where I watch certain times of the year, and this one definitely falls into that category. So again, I'll leave everything I'm talking about in the description, uh, the IMDb page, the trailer for the movie, where you can purchase the movie, and let me just say, this one should be added to uh, the collection because it is that fun. So hopefully you enjoyed this review. Again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell button and you'll know when I upload more stuff. And make sure you check the description for everything I'm talking about. As well as all my links to all my other social media pages. I got a YouTube. Well, of course a YouTube. I got a Twitter. I got an Instagram. I got a Facebook fan page. I got a... Um, now I'm forgetting what I'm going to say. I got a uh, Horror Amino. I got a whole bunch of stuff, as well as being part of the Dorkening. If you haven't seen us, check us out. We do um, interviews with independent horror movie directors, writers, producers, you name it. We've had a whole bunch of people on, so check us out if you're interested in new and exciting movies. So hopefully you like this. Hopefully you add it to your collection. And I guess until next time, I'll see you guys.